most respected moderator of this conference and this academic session sir ravindra pantri ji most venerable anand bikhu ji most venerable nigrod mante ji most venerable thilne and respected our dharmendra ji bikhu sangha present in our conference hall all the bikhunej and my dear friends brothers and sisters it is really a, indeed a great pleasure for me to get involved with this international of dhamma day i have been asked to speak on recent activities related with abhidhamma in india before coming to this main theme i would like to discuss that what is the abhidhamma in a very brief manner then what are the significance of abhidhamma and how it is most relevant nowadays and what government of india is doing nowadays related with the development of abhidhamma as well as the universities of india are promoting abhidhamma nowadays as we know that abhidhamma is a philosophy which deals about the thought and practice prayatti and padipatti which takes a being from the state of suffering to the state of eternal bliss it has been stated as excellent and profound teachings of the buddha dhamma tirek dhamma vishesh athena abhidhamma acharya buddha ghos has defined the term abhidhamma as a yam yath budimanto salakhana pujita parichinna butta dhikacha dhammo abhidhammo teen khatu that which is more elevated more worshiped more reverent more differentiated and which has been told more than the sut and binay that is called abhidhamma there are five qualities of abhidhamma that is why it is separated from the sut and binay that is the budhimanto salakhana pujita parichinna and buttadhika these are the five qualities that which separate its from the sut and binay for understanding a vidhamma there are three attributes that is the parmarth desana jatha dhamma sasanam and naam roop parichhed katha as a parmarth desana a vidham prescribes the four reals namely chit chet sik roop and nibban consciousness psychic factors material quality and a state of eternal bliss much has been said about the four reals i am not going to speak in a detail manner what are the four reals as a jatha dhamma sasanam that abhidhamma prescribes the things as they really appear as they really portray into the nature of reality that all things are subject to impermanence all things are subject to suffering and all dhammas are subject to soulless this is jatha dhamma sasanam and naam roop parichhed katha abhidham prescribes that it makes or it gives the discourse is related with distinction between naam and roop here naam in dhamma sangani there is a question that what is the naam then tat katmam naamam it has been said that vedana khando sanya khando sankhar khando biyan khando asankata cha dhatu idam bucchati naamam that here naam or mind is the conglomeration or combination of the chit and chet sik that is the consciousness and psychic factors in another way this is the beyond as well as vedana sanya and sankhar khand so it is naam roop parichhed katha it describes like this so significance of the abhidhamma has been much told by our previous venerable uh, speakers i am not going to discuss in every detail better but uh, 
द अभिधम प्रिस्क्राइब्स ऑल द फोर रीगल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ माथ काज इन इनोग्रल सेशन वी आर हर्ड द धम्म संगणी मातिका व्हाट इज मातिका मातिका इज मैट्रिक्स और एंकल्स और विजन्स थ्रू विच बिगर आइडियाज आर बीइंग एक्सप्रेस्ड इन ए अंडरस्टैंडेबल मैनर मातिकाज हैव बीन डिफाइंड एज माता बियति मातिका जस्ट एज ए मदर गिफ्ट्स बर्थ ए स्मॉल बेबी एंड नरिसेज द स्मॉल बेबी द स्मॉल बेबी बिकम्स यंग इन द सेम वे माथिकाज आर स्मॉल पॉइंट्स और विजन्स थ्रू विच बिगर आइडियाज आर मेड एक्सप्रेसिबल एंड अंडरस्टैंडेबल टू कॉमन पीपल अभिधम माथिका एंड स्वतंत्र माथिकाज आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ माथिकाज अभिधम माथिकाज आर 122 इन नंबर एंड स्वतंत्र माथिकाज आर 42 टू इन नंबर अगेन अभिधम मातिका इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स तिक मातिका एंड दुख मातिका तिक मातिकाज आर दोज मातिकाज विच आर हैविंग थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड दुख मातिकाज आर दोज मातिकाज विच आर हैविंग टू क्वेश्चन सो हियर फॉर दिस इन द इनोग्रल सेशन वी आर हर्ड ऑल द वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू तिक मातिकाज एंड फोर्टी टू सुतंत मातिकाज सो द मातिकाज पार्ट वेयर डन ऑल द वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू मातिकाज वेयर रिसाइटेड इन द इनोग्रल सेशन इन ए वेरी दोज वेयर इन ए मैट्रिक्स और स्मॉल पॉइंट्स और द विजन्स एंड दोज वेयर मेड एक्सप्रेसिबल लाइक इन द निखेपखंड द फर्स्ट तिक मातिका सेज अबाउट कथमे धम्मा कुशला कथमे धम्मा कुशला कथमे धम्मा अभ्याकता कथमे धम्मा कुशला दैट इज द कथमे धम्मा इत है देर इज एंसर दैट तीन ही कुशल मुलानी अलोभो अदोसो अमोहो तम संपयुत्तो वेदना खंदो संया खंदो संखार खंदो तम समुत्थानम काय कमम बची कमम मनुकमम अगेन कथमे धम्मा कुशला तीन ही अकुशल मुलानी लोभो दोसो मोहो तत्कट्ठा छ किलेसा तम संपयुत्तो वेदना खंदो संया खंदो संखार खंदो तम समुत्थानम काय कमम बची कमम मनोकमम इमे धम्मा अकुशला कथमे धम्मा अभ्याकता दैट ये से धम्मा क्रिया च कम विपाका दीज आर द इलोबरेशन ऑफ द मातिकाज इन द फोर चैप्टर्स ऑफ द धम संगनी एंड अगेन इन द विभंग वी आर हैविंग द एनालिसिस ऑफ दोज फोर रियल्स इन ए डिफरेंट मैनर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पंच खंदाज अठारस धातुस द्वादश आयतन एंड देर आर एटीन विभंगाज विच हैव बीन एनालाइज इन ए डिटेल मैनर द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अभिधम हैज बीन गिवेन इन ए डिटेल मैनर सो वट आर द सिग्निफिकेंस वाई अभिधम इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट नाउ ए डेज नाउ ए डेज माइंडफुलनेस सती एंड विपसना दे हैव बिकम मोर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द प्रजेंट दे प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशंस एंड इफ यू अभिधम इफ यू गो थ्रू द हिस्ट्री इन द महापरिबान सत्य वी फाइंड दैट बुद्ध सेज दैट फॉर द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट चिरम तिठतु सधमम दैट द फॉर द लॉन्ग लाइफ ऑफ द दिस सधर्म वी यू मस्ट डेवलप बोधि पक्षीय धम्मा so buddha asked all, all his followers to develop 30 factors of enlightenment these seven 37 factors of enlightenment are the uh, sati that is the four kaya nupassana vedana nupassana chitta nupassana dhamma nupassana then five indriyas five balas chaddaro idhipada then sat bhujanga and arya astangi ko maggo all 37 factors are in light for the enlightenment these were asked by the buddha to follow for the long life of the sadharma and this is the origin of the vidham some of the scholars are saying that this bodhiya phakya dhammas are the origin of the abidham and from the here if you go analyze all these things we will find that how 37 factors of enlightenment are 
relevant for the abhidhamma also in 37 factors of enlightenment we find there are five times mindfulness or sati has come why sati has given much importance among the 37 factors of enlightenment because sati has been called by enol par gunaratne or nay pond uh, sri lankan scholar that is mindfulness is the heart of meditation and buddha also says that uh, sati mindfulness uh, is just like a door keeper as a door keeper does not allow any undesirable person to enter into the house in the same way mindfulness does not allow any undesirable immoral factors to arise on the surface of mind so sati has been also said in sati pathan sutta that ekayano yam maggo sattanam visuddhiya ek jadidam chattaro sati pathana kayanupassana vedanaanupassana chittanupassana dhammaanupassana so here the significance of abhidhamma comes under the mindfulness and second is the vipassana which is more important that anicca adi vishesa prakarena passati iti vipassana that vipassana is the name of knowing the nature of the reality that all things are subject to impermanence all things are subject to suffering and all dhammas are subject to soulless so this is the name of the vipassana and through vipassana we can understand the nature of the reality and just before our that how abhidhamma gives the lessons that we are causally related with our nature and environment also and through the abhidhamma we are able to know that man is causally related with our nature and environment also and this nature and environment are causally also related with our man or human beings how human beings are related with the interdependent and we also know that law of dependent origination that everything is dependent on some cause and conditions but through the abhidhamma we are able to know that how the things are causally related with each other how these two things or man or nature are causally related with each other how the avijja is related with the sankharaj or sankharaj are related with the beyond or beyond to nama rup how the two dhammas are related with each other causally abhidham through the abhidham we are able to know each and every things through the abhidham we are also able to know about the emotions emotions have become more important nowadays so through emotions emotions are uh, positive also and negative also there is a need of destruction of the wrong emotions so through abhidham we are able to know that which are the wrong emotions here wrong emotions are nothing but they are the immoral psychic factors which are 14 in number like kodh upana so there are 14 types of akusala chetasikas which are creating problem in our day to day life or they are creating problem to in the path of concentration also so through abhidham we are able to know that what are the wrong emotions and what are the good emotions also we are having the sohan chetsikaj that is the beautiful uh, mental factors and if you know that uh, karuna mudita these two are the good emotions through which we can curtail our wrong emotions so this abhidham teaches us that how we have to control our mind and through our mind we are able to control our all activities because in atsalani buddh buddh ghosh says that chit is nothing but it is the all the manifestations of actions are being governed by our mind so mind has a, that is why it is called as chittam ti chitta kriya that all manifestations of actions are being done by our mind and in dhammapada also we are having two beginning verses which give importance on the mind so abhidham teaches us that what is 
mind and how we have to control our good emotions, how we have to control our things. Even in the process of Kamathan, which is meant for well, mainly for the monks and nuns, there is a need of understanding the six temperaments, that is the Charyaj, Rag Charya, Dos Charya, Moh Charya, Vitak Charya. Uh, there are six types of temperaments. Until unless we do not understand the temperaments of the person concerned, we cannot select any one of the subject of the meditations. Subject, there are 40 Chattalis Kamathan also. So there is a need of understanding and analyzing the Dhamma in a better way. And for Kalyana myth also it is better to understand the temperament of the person concerned to whom he is going to give the one of the subjects of meditations which are 40 in number. So these are the qualities of Abhidhamma through which we can come out to some of the problems. Now we are coming to the what are the developments which are going nowadays in Abhidhamma. In India, for Abhidhamma studies, main credit goes to our Dharmanand Kosambi, who started teaching or who started the teaching of Abhidhamma in India. He was the person who first went to Vidyodaya Parivain, Sri Lanka, Colombo, and from where he understood the main teachings or main tenets of the Vidhamma. And first of all, he composed Visuddhi Mag. We are quite aware that first of all, in Roman script, Visuddhi Mag was edited and uh, elaborated by our Dharmanand Kosambi. Later, he joined as a lecturer in Pali at Calcutta University and he remained there for only one year and then he came back to Maharashtra and then he started teachings of the Vidhamma there. And from there again he came to Saharanath Varanasi in 1929 and then he composed Avidhammat Vibhavani Tika which is one of the best manual for understanding the Abhidhamma Sangho. Their Abhidhamma studies started in India. And later on, we are having that in the 40s, how Bhirnaval Bhikkhu Jagdish Kasyap and Rahul, before Bhikshu Jagdish Kasyap, Rahul Sankritan, both of them went to Vidyodaya Parivain. And from there, they learnt Abhidhamma. And Bhikkhu Jagdish Kasyap translated Abhidhamma Sangho as Abhidhamma philosophy, psycho-ethical teachings of the Buddha. And that is a marvel, uh, marvelous uh, translation of Abhidhamma philosophy or Abhidhamma Sangho in a very Indian tradition manner. And we can understand that what are the intricacies of Abhidhamma Sangho through that Abhidhamma philosophy. From there, we are having that how Nolanda Mahavihar, there is a great succession of teachers who started teachings of the Abhidhamma. How Abhidhamma studies were uh, developed and in the different universities, the Abhidhamma studies were introduced. In Delhi University, in Calcutta University, in Pune University, we are having the teachings and research on Abhidhamma. And recently, some of the new courses in Delhi University, like analysis of mind, which has been introduced there. In Sumaya uh, Institute of Dharma Studies, Sumaya Institute of Dharma Studies, a new course of Abhidhamma has been started there. And again, in some of the universities on the mind, the courses have been developed as a diploma courses and they are running nowadays also. Recently, Government of India constituted in, 19, uh, in the February 20, uh, 2020 a committee of the secretaries of the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of uh, Culture. A committee was de developed for the revival of Buddhism, a revival of India, 
with main emphasis of indian buddhism culture as well as tourism also and the main emphasis was given that how bodh gaya be made as a hub of buddhist tourism this committee of the secretaries of the ministry of education ministry of Edu- uh, culture and ministry of tourism they develop and ministry of education started a how this courses on abhidharma can be develop so ministry of education directed university grant commissions to develop massive online courses mooc courses on abhidharma and there were four courses which were approved by the ministry of education on buddhist studies and pali they are history of buddhism in india second abhidharma and third was uh, buddhist philosophy and fourth course was buddhist tourism these four courses were developed by the different subject experts the coordinators have been made by ugc and the courses are going on and this mooc courses and abhidhamma just in a very brief manner there are 40 modules on the abhidhamma especially starting from the origin and development of buddhism what are the classification of abhidhamma what are the seven text of abhidhamma how the four rules of abhidhamma have been classified on the basis of jati kusal akusal vipak and kriya how the four rules have been classified under the category of bhumi that is the planes of existence kama vachar चित्त रूपावचर चित्त अरूपावचर चित्त एंड लोकोत्तर चित्त सो दीज क्लासिफिकेशन हैव बीन डन ऑन द आउट ऑफ द फोर्टी मॉड्यूल्स अगेन द फिफ्टी टू टाइप्स ऑफ साइकिक फैक्टर्स एंड द ट्वेंटी एट टाइप्स ऑफ मेटेरियल क्वालिटीज कोर्स ऑफ कॉग्निशंस हाउ द थिंग्स आर बींग कॉगनाइज बाई आवर माइंड द मॉड्यूल्स आर बींग प्रिपेयर्ड what are the similarities between the bhavang and alavigyan what are the differences and similarities between the klist manovigyan and alavigyan so these courses on abhidhamma they have been developed what are the similarities between the kathavattu and the milind pahiyo so these 40 modules have been prepared the video recording have been done and these 40 modules are under the review by our professor ravindra pant who is the one of the reviewer of all the 40 modules of abhidhamma and most probably from the january 2023 this course will be launched as a massive online course through swayam platform of government of india so this is the recent developments on the abhidhamma so i am very sorry i have taken some much times so thank you very much and uh, i am very much uh, grateful to ibc and uh, organizing committee for giving me an opportunity to share some of the views thank you very much